An exhibition match between Palm Tree Vibes and Glenleg Power Squad began the series of games at the Lauriston Mini Stadium. Glenleg Power Squad batted first, making 106 runs and losing seven wickets. Palm Tree Vibes then took to the crease where after losing three wickets was still able to make the allotted runs needed to win. It was then the match for third place between the Grove and VBS All-Stars. The Grove who batted first made 138 runs, losing five wickets in their allotted 11 overs. VBS All-Stars were unable to do so as they were all out for 72 runs in 10.4 overs. The finals of the tournament came down to KR Constructions and Ministry Pacers. Ministry Pacers won the toss and elected to bat. They made 108 runs, losing 4 wickets in their 11 overs. KR Constructions returned losing 5 wickets and making 114 runs in 10.4 overs. Here are some highlights from the final match. <laughs> And we push up to the long ball for Shipper, Philly, my lord. Okay, let's do something of your choice. And how can I get on the corner of the house? Whoa! 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 At the end of the tournament, the male making the most runs was Mikael Joseph of Kea Constructions and the tie for female with Anisha Fortune of VBS All-Stars and Julia Clement of Youth Game Swingers. Most wickets in the tournament was Kieran Cox of VBS All-Stars and Donalyn Fraser from The Grove. Most catches was Dylan Raymond and Delisa Raymond of VBS All-Stars. Mikael Joseph was awarded the MVP of the tournament with 227 runs. 34 sixes and two catches. Palm Tree Vibes was awarded as being the most entertaining team in the tournament. The Intersector Softball Cricket Tournament was organized by the Youth Division within the Ministry of Karaku and Pitimatnik Affairs and Local Government. <laughs>